So I like lighting in Unreal, but it is a little bit fragile. I'm going to tell you about two common lighting problems I often run into and how to mitigate them. If you're a lighting expert and you can tell me how to just plain old fix them, please do. So the first problem we have is lumen crawling, which is this. If you look at the walls, you can see how there's light and shadow kind of just wobbling everywhere. As I understand it, the problem is that there's only a few rays of light traveling from the splosh on the ground back up to those walls. So as a result, because those rays of light are randomized every few frames, we get the light and the shadow being randomized every few frames. Now, I honestly can't get this to settle down by changing how the lighting works. Uh, I can't seem to find some way to have the bounce lighting be enough to properly get that to calm down while still making the scene feel dark. But the good news is that you can mitigate this by simply increasing your lumen gather quality. If you're wondering why you can see this now and you couldn't see it when I was back here, the difference is that the camera for the main character doesn't have that issue. That's because the camera for the main character has the gather quality set to 2, whereas the cinematic camera has it set to 0.25. So if we yank that up to 2, you'll find that that crawling sensation is almost entirely gone. Now I tried to find other ways to fix this, but Google was not being kind to me. It's been more and more worthless recently, so maybe there is a better way to solve this issue, but I, I, just, I just don't know it. So let's talk about another problem that you're likely to have if you're doing things the way I'm doing them, and that is the camera cut pop. So we're going to go ahead and stop autoplaying this, and we're going to start autoplaying this. Now this is just a very, very basic level sequence that says, keep using the main character's camera. That's just the camera cut track is, is simply always use the main character's camera and that's it. And it's like one second long. This little portion here is all that plays. So shall we see what that looks like? Hopefully you can see that. Pop, 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 pop. There's this pulse. See how noticeable that is? Recalculating all of the reflections from scratch on the ceiling and the floor. So what that is, is that if there is a camera cut track, then it will recalculate all of your stuff, regardless of whether or not there's actually a camera cut happening. So whenever that sequence gets played, looped in this case, it will restart all of these calculations and you're going to get this pop. It has nothing to do with the settings on your cameras. It's entirely because of this glitch. If we were to turn off camera cuts and then hit play, now we're not going to have that issue because there's no longer any camera cuts being calculated. So obviously you could try and get around this issue by disabling camera cuts, but that would mean that your camera cuts wouldn't work, so that's not ideal if you're trying to put together camera cinematics, right? However, there is another way to fix this, and that is to have competing camera cut tracks. Mm, we want this one up here. There. So basically, as long as you have several camera cut tracks always running, you're never going to run into an issue where one of them decides to recalculate from scratch. And that means that as long as you never let go of having a camera cut track in operation, you're never going to have this issue. So if you're getting that popping, just put together a camera cut track on some random thing somewhere and just have it do nothing, and you won't get any of that popping anymore. Don't you love Unreal? Well, the upside is that you actually get some pretty fantastic effects when you do this. It looks good, feels good, it's easy to put together. It's just got a lot of gotchas that are really quite annoying, unfortunately. Have a good one.